Welcome back everyone to another Hot Toys review and today we're going to be reviewing the Whiplash figure from Iron Man 2. And the box has some really cool artwork on the front. Hot Toys exclusive sticker right there. And yes this is a 2.0 reissue of a figure that was released previously. And this part is actually really cool because it's a magnet that comes off like so. And you have more artwork on the inside and details. So I'm going to be doing the unboxing a little bit different in this video because I did some custom work on this figure. I added some lights, which I will demonstrate later, um, to make this figure come more alive and look more realistic. Um, I like the electricity effects on, um, on the whips, but I just wanted to add more, you know, and I figured why not go all the way and, and as you'll see later on, it proves to be quite amusing. So this is just a first look at the figure out of the box. As you can see, this figure comes with probably the least amount of accessories. And here we have all the accessories for the Whiplash figure. And like I said before, this figure really does not come with much. Um, of course, you get the standard extra joints for the hands, which I have not used. And then you get two basic uh, fisted hands, which are usually included with every figure. So these are more included out of necessity. Um, what's really cool is you have a lot of details with the tattoos on these hands. Um, so you have different symbols on each of the fingers. And different tattoos and symbols on this hand. Looks like it says 1969 on this one. You have the electricity effects whips, which the cool thing about these whips here is they have a wire in them so or actually have the wires on the outside right here so you can bend them in different ways and they will hold their shape and they have this flexible rubbery like electricity effect on the outside interwoven they could probably remove if you wanted to and as you can see i've wrapped mine in some lights and lastly you have the stand which this is one of my favorite hot toy stands because i always love any kind of diorama pieces. I wish it was a metal nameplate, of course, but this is fine. Uh, you have some lights that used to be in there that aren't being used for whatever reason. I'm not sure why, that would have been pretty cool. But I love the texturing and the 3D uh, effects on this stand. I love how it's the road from the racetrack scene. I think that's really cool and such a good idea. And I wish they would do that with more figures, have more 3D diorama pieces like this. And now on to the figure himself. This is the basic front view and the back with all the tangled wires that I have going on and as you can see there's a lot of details so let's get up closer and see the head sculpt so here's a first look at the Mickey Rourke style head sculpt for Whiplash from Iron Man 2 and I really think this looks spot on I mean there's so many details that you can get with the texturing on this face with the scars and the age details and just the various skin texturing. Um, I think this is one of the best side sculpts um, released recently by Hot Toys in terms of likeness and just how much incredible detail there is. Even on the hair, there's a variety of paint work being done. It's slightly flexible and yeah, it just looks great. I have no complaints about this end sculpt. And then moving on down, you have a necklace here. And you have skin texture on the neck with tattoos as well. This necklace moves around. And then you have tattoos on the chest and shoulders. And you continue down, you have a lot of fine details with the leather straps, multi-learning and mixed media with plastic pieces on top of different pleather and texture materials. And yeah, just the amount of detail on this is incredible. And the shine that the plastic has to make it look like it's made of real metal. The fact that it's somewhat movable, it's not just like sculpted or anything like that. On the arms, as you can see, it continues downward and is movable, which is pretty amazing. The functionality of it. And all these wires are movable. These are actually strings painted to look like, I guess, tubes or wires. The belt is undoable, it looks like. Uh, I'm not going to mess with it too much, but yeah. All these straps are movable. Um, this one right here, plastic, doesn't look like you can undo it at all. 
And same with these, they're more just for show. You can't undo any of these straps. And this arm has the same amount of details as the other side and also moves. And then on the belt, you have just different various pieces in here, um, which are clued in. So it's not movable, the belt is adjustable. And you have tattoos on the stomach. So the back detail is quite amazing. You have uh, the spine look here and all the different tubes and wires and just intricate details underneath. So a lot of this is just really sculpted, but the paintwork makes it look very realistic and just adds a ton of texture. This plastic strap here looks like it comes undone. I'm not gonna mess with it because it looks like it's hard to get on and off. And you have actually some wires here, but these wires are actually to the light, light up feature, but they kind of just blend in anyways because the rest of it has wires. And then you have the tubes that go to the whips here, which are just a flexible rubber-like material. And they are all part of this part is art does have articulation in it. And now some of this is quite fragile. So I actually broke, which side was it? I think it was this side that broke right about here. And while it is has a joint in it, it can break if you're not careful. So I'll just be careful with posing and all that stuff because this stuff can break on certain pieces that are more flimsy and thinner. And you have just different fabric and the belt and then you have the battery compartment and the switch to turn on the light in the front so if i turn the switch on you can see the chest light lights up and not only that um, but you also have a light up effect right here which you can see better when you turn off the lights so you have some lights right here to make it look like these clear tubes light up for the for the whips now i kind of wish it would light up a little bit more than that but it's still pretty neat moving on downward you have a lot of uh, just different Texture work, you have a zipper here and burn marks and looks really well done. Same with the front, just uh, zipper details and burn marks and broken pieces. The only complaint is the knees. I don't know why they couldn't have hidden the knee joints a little bit better, but it's still better than nothing. Uh, but you have more metal pieces on the knees, which is made of plastic. And then you have sculpted boots here, which look pretty cool. And no details on the bottom of the boots, but you do have details on the side and the back. So in terms of articulation, starting with the head sculpt, um, you can move the head forward quite a bit since the neck is a flexible rubber-like material. And you can move it back, not too much because of the hair. And you can move the head side to side quite a bit to the flexibility of the neck and the hair and around like that. The shoulders, you can move them up. I'm not going to push it too far because it does feel fragile. And of course you can move the shoulders about that far. Like I said, I'm going to be more careful because this part did break on me last time. And you can move them back. And the elbows, you can move 90 degrees forward and not too far back just about a straight and there is a joint as you can see in the stomach and the chest so you can do a swivel the terms of the hips can move surprisingly not too far up despite the fabric you can't really move it that far up i guess because of the way it's built and but you can move it a little bit far back and the knee is double jointed and ratcheted so you can almost bend it all the way back and forward not too much you might be careful with these plastic pieces on the knees and the boots you can move them just as much as you would expect forward and back and side to side so there is a little bit of flexibility more than you would expect with this type of uh, sculpted boot design and so to attach the whips you just insert the tube in the whip holster right there and then you can bring it around and have them hold the whip like so and they can adjust it of course, the hands do come off pretty easily. That's a con right there. So this is what it looks like when both whips are placed in the hands and the tubes are attached. And now to show you the light up features that I custom added to this figure, which is basically just uh, wire lights that you can buy at Walmart or order online on Amazon. 
and they're really not that expensive and then you can just customize it and add these lights on there and this one that I bought has like five different styles of lights that you can do uh, to get different effects depending on what you're going for and so just trying those out and you can of course hide the wires behind it more to hide those excess lights and then you can have whiplash with both of his whips lit up all right so in terms of my overall thoughts of this figure um, you know this figure is not at the top of my list or anything I think it's a decent figure um, I think what really drew me to this figure was just how cool and intricate the chest design and back design are and even all of the metal pieces and just functionality on the arms the way the metal brackets come together and mix with the leather part, with the straps and the material and just the way it's all interwoven together, I think it's really intricate and there's a ton of detail there and I think the head sculpt really is good and it's really spot on. Looks just like Mickey Rourke from Iron Man 2. All the tattoos and details like that. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's what drew me to this figure. Iron Man 2, you know, it's not like my favorite movie ever, but I think it's pretty decent. It's So yeah, I think that's what drew me to this figure is just it's a more grounded uh, gritty kind of character and it shows in the costume design and and it shows in this figure I think so in terms of the pauses of this figure I like how the arc reactor lights up on the chest that's a really nice feature and the back part lights up a little bit my only issue is I just wish it lit up a little bit more or maybe they could find just more creative ways to add more lights and I'm really surprised they didn't think about adding lights into the whips and the fact that I could spend like a few extra dollars and then custom add all these different lights on the whips and make it look even better. But it just makes me wonder maybe Hot Toys could have implemented that somehow in the whips or made it an optional feature or something like that. But either way it's a cheap customization it's not too bad. In terms of other positives I think the tailoring is just well done and I like how the material itself like the jumpsuit material is weathered and burned and scarred and different things like that It makes it look more realistic. The color is not quite accurate to the movie, probably for copyright reasons, so I can let that go. But other than that, I think, you know, like I said before, the head sculpt is definitely spot on. I like all the texturing work and details, the aging and tattoos and everything, and just the paint work is really well done, especially on the hair and the way the hair is sculpted. It looks very realistic. I think overall it's, it's awesome, and I think it's great that the whips have a wire in them so you can articulate them as well. So switching over to negatives, I don't like how I can see the joints in this figure. I actually, I don't know, I, I, part of me wants to say I would prefer some type of rubber fison like body, although I don't know how difficult it is to put tattoos on, on uh, that type of material, whether it would fade away. And of course there's the usual complaint that those bodies can wear and tear over time and start falling apart if not taken care of properly. So I could see that as being kind of risky so maybe not but for what it's worth the joints are hidden fairly well you know unless you're really looking for them the you know the way the uh the suit is built on the different pieces they do hide the elbow joints and all the other different joints like that so it's not really like a huge deal i just wish maybe there was i don't know i wouldn't mind maybe trying a fison body for this to see if it would work to see how it would uh, do with like tattoos and stuff like that now, the biggest problem for me is the knee joints because they're just so obvious and you can really see them clear as day unless you hide them. I wish the light up feature was just a little bit stronger like I said before. I wish there was lights in the whips already built into the figure. Somehow, you know, I found a way so maybe there is some even more complicated way to do it. I don't know. Uh, with technology we have now. So, In terms of other negatives, I wish it came with more accessories but then again, like what accessories would it really come with? Well, maybe it could come with like the damaged arc reactor that was taken off of Whiplash, Whiplash's chest during the battle, the handcuffs maybe, or the bomb that was in the prison cell. I'm just thinking outside the box. Some of those might be kind of silly. Um, oh yeah, and that actually reminds me one of the positives. The other positive is the diorama base. The stand is just really great, and I wish there were more stands like that. I can't really think of any other negatives other than why didn't they do die cast? I feel like. This has been a great opportunity to do die cast pieces, especially because, like I said, the piece on the shoulder broke for me and I had to glue it back. So it just shows how kind of flimsy those plastic pieces on the arms are and it just would have been so much better in die cast. I don't know how difficult that would be, but I think that would make this figure a grail for me. Even though it's not my favorite character of all time, that would make it a more of a grail if it was die cast. I probably would have 
gone even crazier if I was coming with other things to include with this, like throw in like the fence from the racetrack, um, which I actually built a diorama piece for this um, to simulate the the racetrack and part of the fence and all that stuff. I don't regret buying this figure. I think it's a really cool addition to the collection. I think it's a really cool grounded character. That's what drew me to it, especially the costume design. I like it. It's kind of rough and put together and I like that style as I've said in previous videos so that's why I like this figure. Um, it's not my favorite figure of all time but I do have to say very impressed by the head sculpt and I think the head sculpt is in the top five of my list um, just with the figures I own so far. So yeah I would recommend it. Let me know what you think in the comments below and until the next video. <laughs>